Excuse me. Right. Hi, it's Mike. And we're, uh, we're I, I apparently we're unboxing today. Before I start, again, thank you guys so much for sending stuff to the PO box. Um, I haven't done this in a while, so a lot of stuff piled up. There's still a, there's still a bunch in the corner I haven't got to yet. But I really appreciate you guys so much for sending all this stuff in and thinking of me. I feel the love, you know, I, I, I do. All right, let's see what we got. This is a letter from Danny in Middletown, New York. Hey, Danny. Hey, neighbor. Hey, Middletown buddy. Danny says, uh, my name is Dan. I'm also living in Middletown. My mother is in law is a huge fan of yours. She owns and works at uh, Minnie Auto Repair right on Dobson Avenue. I love it if you could stop in and surprise her. Um, P.S. I'm also a huge fan of subscriber. Thank you so much. Dan. Actually, I I've been there a couple times for oil changes. Um, but yeah, next time I stop by, your mom's name is, I don't know your mom's name, but she's the owner, so I'll ask for her. I'll definitely stop by, I think in, in another 100 miles or so. Postcard, beautiful place. Oh, Guam. Hey Mike, if you're ever in Guam, this is some good foods here too. Yeah, that's up to you if you find the time to come. Sincerely, Jocelyn. Thank you so much, Jocelyn. Oh, look how pretty Guam is. Two lovers point. Huh, wonder who the two lovers are. Another postcard. Whoa, I say whoa, yeah. Oh, I know this little duck. Mikey, do you like watching movies? You should watch Babe Bet's Feast. Josh, thank you, Josh. I've never seen that before. I'll check it out on movie night. And yes, I do have movie nights. It is Friday night. Another postcard. Ooh, look at this. This is going up on my fridge. This is like all the hawker foods in Singapore. This is awesome. Dear Mikey, I've been a fan of your food vlog since one year ago. Every time you eat, you make me feel like eating too. Thank you so much. You are currently in Bangkok and I'm hoping you will make Singapore a destination of yours someday. Actually, keep thinking you might drop by Singapore before my card even reaches you since you are already in Southeast Asia. If you need a free tour guide in Singapore, you can email me. Hope to see you soon. Also, another Jocelyn. Thank you so much, Jocelyn. And yes, as you can tell by my videos, I did make it to Singapore. What was the scent? Wow, this was from, I'm so sorry. This is like from me. I'm so sorry, Jocelyn. I don't know why this wasn't read earlier. I apologize, but I love Singapore. Thank you so much. I wish I had you as a guide because I had to make my way around. I used my nose to find all the good food. Kind of like that Fruit Loops parrot. All right, let's get, let's see. Let's get to one of these packages. Whoa, what's this? Good day, Mr. Chen, AKA Mikey. I just wanted to send you these snacks. Hope you enjoy them. Rare jerky, YouTube follower Otto. P.S. couldn't find gator jerky only in Florida. I am from Texas. Thank you so much, Otto. It's okay, you couldn't find gator jerky. And Otto, oh my goodness, you shouldn't have. Look at this. Whoa, whoa, look at. Otto, you just rained jerky upon me today. We got, oh, and these are different animals too. This is elk jerky. Um, okay, this is beef. What else we got here? Buffalo, wild boar. I feel I feel like I'm eating a forest right here. I love buffalo meat. Hmm. Mm. Smoky, a little spicy. Also, a little wild, wild westy. When I bite into this, I don't know. I'm thinking about cowboys and all that. Thank you so much, Otto. I love jerky, and it's like one o'clock, and that was breakfast. All right, let's see here. What is this? The Big Men, a book by Michael Schotter. And it's sent to me by Michael Schotter, the author. Dear Mike, uh, as a fan of your YouTube channel, I thought you might enjoy my recently published first novel, Big Men. Oh, first novel, congratulations, which I included with this letter. As you can see, it's a paranormal thriller exploring the pre perceptions and manifestations of power as wielded by particular men in the modern era. So kind of like a modern day X-Men. On an unrelated note, if you've never done a food tour in my hometown of Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, I've been there, I love it. I highly recommend it. We have some amazing food. The bird may not be as exotic as some of your recent food destinations, but I think it might just surprise you in a good way. Well, thank you so much, Michael. I'm gonna read that on the plane to Peru. Next up, I think Josh sent me like a bunch of postcards. Well, thank you so much, Josh. This one, he says, uh, greetings from New Hampshire. Oh, I hope you are doing well. I love your videos. Also love tuna burgers. Hey, you love tuna burgers as well? I love tuna burgers. Hey, tuna burgers, buddy. This one, Josh says, Mikey, greetings from New Hampshire. I love spicy garlic tofu. So do I over white rice, all the best. Josh, we could definitely feast together because we like all the same stuff. This is, that was kind of barbaric. I'm, I'm sorry, but it's just ripped. Dear Mike, hope this travel, ooh, Travel Pillow is a good company to each of your wonderful journeys. Give it a try. Jen, thank you so much, Jen. Ooh, whoa, it's a fancy Travel Pillow. Cool, so I blow it up and 
I just, I don't know. I think I'm doing this wrong here. Um, no, 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 I think it's right. All right, I'm gonna figure this out. Thank you so much, Jen. This will definitely come in good use. I stop. I don't have my cleaver with me today, so bear with me as I rip through these with just my fingers. Hi Mike, greetings from Arizona. I love Arizona, I love Sedona. Just wanted to let you know how much I appreciate your videos. Thank you so much. Thank you for making them. Regardless of what the topic may be, your passion and positivity shines through. I look forward to more of your videos. Best wishes, Nina. Thank you very much, Nina. This is very sweet. Thank you so much. Whoa, lip smacker. I think this is like chapstick. Ooh, sriracha. Ch I never seen it. This is funny. Sriracha chapstick. Can't wait to kiss somebody with this. This will be a surprise. And oh, look at this. Arizona gunslinger pepper sauces. This is so cool. Travel size hot sauce. This is going with me to Peru. Thank you so much, Nina. I really, really appreciate this. Thank you. Next up, dear Mike, uh, I want to say thank you for your videos. Recently lost a dear friend and I watch your channels and a few others to stay upbeat. Thank you with your videos. With your videos, I learned what other countries like their foods and their culture. I really love the unboxing of what us viewers sent you, even if it is a letter. Sincerely, Alicia. First of all, I'm really sorry for your loss, Alicia. And it's always sad when someone who means so much to us leave us. And the only thing I can say is that I'm glad you are staying strong and using whatever you need, be it YouTube videos, be it whatever, to just keep your upbeat and give yourself time. And also, don't be alone. Surround yourself with people and I promise it will get better. Thank you so much for the letter, Alicia. This is, ooh. To Mike, my name is Joshua and I am one of your subscribers from New Zealand. Hey, Kiwi. <laughs> and thought of sending you some treats from my country because your videos put a smile on my face. Thank you so much. And even my mom watched one of them, the chocolate, thank you, thank you, mom. The chocolate bar is palm oil free. Interesting. And the biscuits go well with a hot drink. You showed us lots of what you did on your Mongolia and Korea trips, which I liked a lot. So please keep posting your amazing videos. Well, thank you so much, Joshua. And all the way from New Zealand, you are absolutely amazing. I'm starving. Looking at this even makes my mouth water. So I think I'm gonna fix myself some hot tea and eat this right now. Mm. This is very gingery. I feel like you kind of dip it in your hot drink. Mm, that hits the spot. Some jerky, now some cookies. I'm gonna go. But thank you so much for sending that all the way from New Zealand, Joshua. All right, a letter from North Carolina. Oh, that's cute. Hello, Mike. My name is Rachel. I wanted to thank you so much for putting your vlogs and other videos out there for the world to see. I'm 17 and still in the house with my family, soon to leave for college. Congratulations. And nothing makes me happier than researching and learning about the world that lays around us. I've always been extremely interested in Eastern culture and ever since I was young and when I was introduced to anime, I love anime too, the thirst to know more about what the culture was like became insatiable. Obviously because of anime, I was very interested about Japan in particular and so I spent years learning about its history and food and social culture and more. Now I'm even beginning to seriously learn the language with my goal being to move there after college to become an English teacher. That's what I wanted to do, but they wouldn't hire me because maybe I was a Chinese person, I don't know. Um, when I saw your channel though, exploring not only Chi Japanese culture, but Korean and Chinese as well, it was impossible to look away. I have learned so much from you and you are the reason for a lot of the knowledge I now have about different nations. Uh, my favorite video especially was the one where you explained Falun Dafa and the human rights march you were participating in. Right there, I knew I had to make a bucket list of all the things I wanted to do, especially because of so much you had introduced to me. I really sincerely hope that you never stop making such knowledgeable, rich, and inspiring videos. You are seriously the coolest guy ever. First person to ever say that to me. Thank you. And I want you to know that from the bottom of my heart. An inspired viewer and fan, Rachel. Wow, thank you so much, Rachel. This is such a sweet letter. And I'm glad my videos do more than just, just make people hungry, but also um, shows an aspect of culture as well. That is, of course, the intent. But thank you so much, Rachel. And I, good luck with college. Good luck with the move to Japan. It's awesome there. And all the best in life. Thanks again. All right, I'm gonna use this pen. See, see what happens when you don't have a cleaver? Ooh, this is pretty. It's pink. Wow, look how pretty this is. Amazon Beauty. I hope it's makeup. Prettiest box. Seriously, really pretty box. What? 
what is this? I literally thought it was gonna be makeup and, and there'll be a letter that says, Mike, you're getting old, put on some makeup. But it's not, hi Mike, um, greetings from Germany. Oh, Germany. Um, I just really feel like treating you with some German stuff. Oh, thank you. I actually don't like chocolate, but those are the only ones I choose to like. Well, except the one cracker with chili. That is just an experiment for you. Thank you, I'll be your guinea pig. Try them on camera, please. Hope we can meet one day in Germany, Thailand, China, or anywhere else awesome and tasty. Keep going with your hard work. I mean, eating and working out. See ya. This is from Qing. Oh, I know Qing Yuan. This is from Qing Yuan. Germans, P.S. Germans can't pronounce my Chinese name, so they call me Niu Niu, my nickname. All right, that's fine. Okay, Qing Yuan, I, I met her on Instagram. She is awesome. And thank you so much for sending this to me. It's such a pretty box, too. What is this? Oh, coconut candy. We have, uh, ooh. Yeah, this just all fell. Oh, I love this. This is that Kinder Bar. That is absolutely amazing. And then, what is this? Like chocolate, spicy chocolate. Yeah, spicy and chocolate definitely go together. And the final thing, this I absolutely, oh, this I absolutely love. I think I had this before and I think it's amazing. First of all, chocolate, spicy chocolate cracker and it has like, like chocolate in the middle. It's got like a little jam in, in the in the middle. Wow, this is spicy. I mean, it's good. It's really spicy. Love this stuff. I don't chocolate. I don't chocolate anything. This is great with tea. Bounty. Coconut and stuff. Mm, I love chocolate. I love coconut. This is awesome. My breakfast just keeps getting better and better. Thank you so much, Tini. I'm gonna say thanks on, on Instagram next time I'm on. Next, a postcard. Another one from Josh. Josh, thank you so much. Send me like so many postcards. Thank you so much, buddy. Mikey, I love linguine with white clam sauce. It's my favorite pasta entree. I love that as well, Josh. We're gonna eat together one day. Nice Buddha statue. What? Hi Mike, I hope you enjoy these spicy treats. Keep up the great work on your videos and the funny comments you make when eating. All the best, Diana. Well, thank you so much, Diana. What is mala huoguo? It says no electricity needed, no water needed. All you need is cold water. You can eat hot pot. This might be the coolest thing I've ever seen. If there's a character that says lazy right here, I think this is gonna be pretty awesome. I've never seen this before. I can't wait to try it. This is so cool. And this is mala tang. This is kind of like uh, ramen, but it's rice noodles and it's in the hot pot broth. I wish I could try it on this video, but I need to get out of here and go catch a flight to Peru. But thank you so much, Diane. I'm definitely gonna try this. This I'm really excited about this. Smiley face. Hello, Mike Chin. Happy to see you are doing well. New house looks great. Have a foundation there for second house, huh? Wishes for the rest of summer. So many places to go. Pop up less, amigo. Please show whole letter in mail time where at least any part, so I know you got it. Thank you very much. Thank you for all the drawings. And I think this is someone from, Mid from Middletown. Mm, nice burger, got me a little hungry. What? what is this? Whoa. Okay, I think I opened it from the wrong side. These are six jars of, I'm guessing, I'm gonna guess it's hot sauce. Let me see here. Okay, there's a letter. Definitely opened it from the wrong end of the box. Uh, what is this? A lot of stuff. Mike, I'd like to thank you for all the great videos. I love seeing the different countries, different places to eat, different dishes. Most of all, I love how you are so honest about how good or bad the food is that you try. I cannot believe how much you can eat though. Next time you go to Las Vegas, I'd like to see you go to the Heart Attack Grill. Well, that place is dangerous for me. Uh, enjoy the homemade jellies, what? Well, you made this? This is from Paul. Paul, you made all this? Wow. And Paul makes these jellies to fund the largest Mysore fig tree in the US. And that's in his front yard. Here's the information about the different jellies. First of all, the red ribbons are full sugar jellies, like these, lemon jelly. I can't wait to try this. I love jellies, I love jams. I love anything I can spread on other things. The blue ribbons are half sugar jellies. Next, I have enclosed one of my special hot jellies, orange pepper marmalade. All the jellies I make are my own recipe. I make them myself. Most of the fruit I use is grown here on the property without chemicals. Thank you so much. And he has a huge Christmas light show, largest synchronized light show in the area. Where, where are you? Didn't say where you are. Paul is from East Earl, Florida. And he has a website, mysorefigtree.com. And what is this? Wow, this is the, I never heard of a Mysore fig tree. Never, I don't know much about trees. So there, there's the tree and there's the light show, Christmas light show. We got chocolate coconut jelly, half sugar, mango jelly, half sugar, Mysore fig jelly, half sugar, mulberry jelly, lemon jelly, and the orange pepper marmalade. 
I really want to try the Mysore, Mysore fig jelly. I'm sorry for being kind of ignorant. I don't know what that is, but I'm excited to try it. Half sugar, so it's healthy. You know, I can eat a lot of it. Mm. Like cat oh, this is nice, Paul. It's figgy. Not really sweet, not overly sweet. Very smooth taste. Also, I want to try this coconut chocolate coconut jelly. This sounds like something awesome. Ooh, smells very coconutty and chocolatey. Oh, that's awesome. That's good. Thank you so much, Paul. This will be gone in like an hour from now. I'm gonna toast some toast or whatever I can find in the fridge and this will be gone. Last one, and uh, this is from Singapore. I miss Singapore. I love Singapore so much. Check it out. This, oh, it can be this. Oh, this goes inside the last in the mock dish. As soon as I saw this, my mouth just started watering. Peanuts, a little bit of fish inside, little anchovies. Muru, muruku, this is grounded nuts and flour. Never had this. What? All right, so this is, there's a dish I tried in Singapore. It's basically a uh, pork bone soup and I can now make it here and Hanani's chicken. I hope there's a note in here. Let me see, hang on. Oh, I see a note. Hi Mike, greetings from Singapore. I'm Patrina and I recently got hooked on your channels after after watching the ones filmed in Singapore. Thank you so much. I just want to send you some snacks from Singapore and some seasoning packs that you can use to recreate some dishes you had here. How considerate. Thank you so much, Patrina. While watching your older videos, I realized that you used to be a wedding photographer, wedding videographer. I, I can't really take photos because I'm not very artistic. I am one at a company called a Merry Moments, so I found it really entertaining hearing your comments about Asian weddings. I do have a lot of comments about Asian weddings. If you guys ever meet me, ask me to tell you about what happens at some of the Asian weddings I was at. Enjoy this night, keep vlogging, and come back to Singapore soon. Cheers, Patrina. Thank you so much, Patrina. This is so thoughtful of you. I mean, recreating some of the dishes I had in Singapore, I missed them already. This is salted egg yolk potato chips. I had this before, I love this. This is uh, crispy maruku. That's a thing I had before. And this is chili, chili tapioca. Oh, interesting and crispy maruku. I'm not really sure what a maruku is. I'm gonna try it right now. It smells very nutty. Wow, it tastes very aromatic. It's basically a lot of curry flavor. This is ground nuts with chili powder, rice flour, the more you chew, the more interesting it is. I feel like this would be also really good like inside salads or maybe inside a soup. Mm. Yeah, I'm really curious about this. Chili tapioca. This is great. It can build as nuts. I mean, the tapioca, it kind of tastes like potato chips, but with a, a nice little fishy flavor, this is really, really good. I gotta put this down before I can't even stop anymore. And oh my god, I missed this. This I'm gonna put on some rice. Oh, now it's just so crispy. Wow, a little anchovy. Mm, it's so good. Wow, thank you all so much for tuning. This was so thoughtful of you. And I cannot wait to make all the soups. And I cannot wait to make Hainanese chicken. This is so good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out of here and, and not let you guys see me just stuff my face in here and just chew. Again, guys, thank you so much for sending me all this stuff. Thank you for the letters. Thank you for the postcards. Thank you for all the great snacks. Everything is so incredibly thoughtful. I, I wish there's something I could do for you. Is, let me know. What, what can I do for you? Asian mentality. You know, I, I, I hate accepting things if I haven't contributed in some way. But guys, I am so fortunate for all of you who watch the videos, who like the videos, and that alone, I'm already really grateful. But to send me all this stuff, I, I, what can I say? I love you. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for all this. I'll see you later.